So Mark, uh, tell me, I guess, what happened that caused you to putt like everyone's seen on Twitter today? Uh, yeah, I mean, I was going to miss the cut, uh, you know, and I like to keep a positive attitude even when things aren't going well, um, rather than take out a frustration in a negative way like I have in the past. I just figured I'd have a little fun with it. So is this a putting style that you would ever, that you would even consider adopting or was it purely just, you know what, I'm going to have some fun with this and this is something I'm not, this isn't something I'm going to. It's, it's a putting style that we patented at uh, San Jose State on, on my team a couple of uh, generations before me and it's been passed down. Um, <laughs> I would never consider using it as a real putting style. I've actually been putting great this year so far. Um, but yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess the dream would be to have like a one inch tap in to win a golf tournament and then I could break it out then. You know what I thought was funny though, is when you missed the putt, you still were a little frustrated. You expected to make it. Yeah, honestly, it's pretty automatic from inside, you know, five to 10 feet. So I, I hit a great putt. It just broke a little more, but I hit it right where I was looking. That's funny. All right. Uh, I think, I think my brother commented, uh, on, on one of the videos, and he was like, I, I can confirm that he was disappointed 60% of the time it works every time. So I thought that <laughs> That's was pretty right. fitting. That's pretty good. Um, let's talk about the little dance move before the putt. You kind of swiveled the hip, shake the hips. What's the origin of that? Yeah, you know, you just really got to sell it that you're going in for uh, for the real thing and then then surprise the people. It's, it's like most things in life. It's all about the presentation and and uh, yeah, you know, if anything, I, I think it's a little reminiscent of Jack Parkman from Major League Two when he uh, shimmies at the plate right before he hits home run. So that's probably the inspiration of that. Have 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 you like heard from anybody notable? Has anyone got on your Twitter mentions or reached out to you notable about it with anything to say? Is there anything we need to know about? Maybe people have responded to you to you about it or the reactions to it. Not yet. It's definitely, uh, it's blowing up right now. Um, it's funny because I, I actually tapped in on 18 at Mayakoba Maya in 2019. So they went the same way and they got it on video. So uh, I don't know why it's blowing up so big this time, but I'm definitely getting a, a lot of positive feedback from it. Uh, I've even had some people sending me videos of their own, their own snail. So uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I think it's just a fun thing, and I'm glad people are having fun with it, too. Do you think you can get any more endorsement deals out of this this 15 <laughs> minutes of fame? Uh, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Maybe an even shorter putter uh, from Odyssey. But, uh, but yeah, maybe, maybe a pro kids golf club deal. Who knows? <laughs> That's right. Hey, I guess lost in all this, and I know you didn't have the day you wanted today, but last week you played well. We're in contention for a while here in the desert. You shot four under yesterday and put yourself in contention. Where's your golf game and how confident do you feel about Mark Hubbard this year on the PGA Tour? Yeah, I mean, I feel very confident in Mark Hubbard this year on the PGA Tour. Um, right now, my golf game definitely isn't where it needs to be. Um, I had a decent finish last week, but I hit it very poorly uh, and just made everything. Um, uh, and, you know, it, it was honestly a lot better yesterday, but it was still some pretty loose shots. Um, and I, I putted really well again. So uh, I'm not sure what my plan is for the next week, but I know I definitely need some work on my long game. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But it, it's definitely really close, and I'm confident that, it, that I'll start hitting the ball a little bit better. But uh, um, definitely some work to be done. Well, it's early in the season. You know you're building towards bigger and better things, so you don't want to peak in uh, late exactly. January, right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Hey, Mark, uh, thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Um, good luck with the rest of the season. I'll probably talk to you down the road. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks for having right. me. Take care.